My name is Cecilia and I live on Svalbard, an island close to the North Pole. Svalbard is an incredible place full of unreal scenery. As locals, we have the opportunity to head out into the wilderness and experience this frozen world up close. In winter, we head out on snowmobiles to check out massive glacier fronts. We stay in small remote cabins scattered across the island with only a wood stove to keep us warm. We visit our Russian neighbors in Barnesburg and Pyramiden to only name a few adventures. I grew up in Sweden and for a few years on Ireland. And after high school, I had moved around quite a lot, living in cities like London, Sydney and Dublin, working mostly within the hotel industry or studying. And I thought that that was what I wanted to do in life. Live in a city, have a good job, find somewhere to call home. I have now lived on Svalbard for six years and plan to stay for many more. When I set foot in Longyearbyen, it all became so clear. At first I only thought I would be staying for a few months and then I would go back to the fast paced life in a city, but that never happened. I love this life where I can walk to work, I hike on the weekends and everything in town is within a three kilometer radius. I love this small town, but life here isn't small. It's so much bigger than I could imagine. I have experienced the most incredible nature these last few years. To be able to see polar bears, walruses and whales out in the wild is just unreal. So here I am, living in this cabin that my boyfriend and I bought three years ago. It's 10 minutes outside of Longyearbyen. It didn't look like this when we moved in though. It was half the size and had a different layout. The cabin doesn't have any plumbing and got electricity quite recently in 2007. The second we set foot in here, we knew it was our home. After living in the cabin for about a year, we decided to start the process of building an extension. On Svalbard, the cabins can have a maximum size of 135 square meters, and ours was only 57 square meters. So we wanted to make a new bigger bedroom, add a larger bathroom, and a big focus was on making a new kitchen. So we got to work. We sat down every night and started drawing up different options of what this cabin could look like. And wow, I did not know how difficult it is to plan a house layout. But after a few months, we sent our plan in to be drawn up by an architect. We had meetings with the local contractors in town, and we applied for all the approvals needed from the government and from the community council. Building on Svalbard isn't a small task. Not only do we have to follow regular Norwegian building regulations, but we also need to follow Svalbard nature regulations, like making sure we don't damage the tundra. The tundra is our ground, by the way, which is permanently frozen. And since our cabin is 60 meters from the road with nothing but tundra in between, you can only drive on it when it's snow covered. That means that any work that requires heavy machinery, like putting in the foundation poles, has to be done when there is snow. So at the end of summer 2020, we pretty much just sat and waited for enough snow to cover the ground all the way up until January 2021 to be able to start the build. At the end of January 2021, we began.
It is quarter past nine on November 8th, and this is <laughs> how much light we have. Oh, but it's beautiful outside. The weather actually looks really nice. Yeah, there's not a lot of daylight. <laughs> Not a lot of daylight. What is it? Good morning. Good morning. Let's get Grim some food. This is what he eats. He actually likes this one, but he probably won't eat it. Because he's like, no, thank you. Not today. Get it for Mott. How do you feel about some food? Was she good? Was she good? <laughs> That's what he does. No, thank you. This sofa was all good too. Till Grim went up there. You're ruining the sofa. The Grim's having a great time. Yeah, give me a seat. <laughs> sit. Oh. Is it going to be nice? Oh, it's a nice. Is this gonna be great so you don't disturb the wildlife? Yeah, now you can go outside and roam freely, my child. Kisa, go pee. Hey everybody, Grim and I just have a quick announcement and that is that this video is sponsored by NordVPN. So thank you so much to NordVPN. If you go to nordvpn.com slash Cecilia or use the code Cecilia, you get a two year plan plus a bonus gift with a huge discount. As you know, I am Swedish and I'm living in Norway, so I always use a VPN to access my favorite shows back home, especially different entertainment websites. And my tip for you this time is a Norwegian show called Hem Til Jul, or I think it's now translated to Home for Christmas. So I think you should go and watch that show. And if you use this VPN, you can access it on Netflix. So head to norvpn.com slash Cecilia to get that two year plan plus a bonus gift with a huge discount. Yes, Grim? Yes? Thank you so much to NordVPN, my favorites. Bye! Um, <laughs> this is a mess. As you can see, the time has come to fix up the TV room for real this time. When we did the big renovations, I just kind of did a preliminary situation in there. I just bought one of those day beds from Ikea that I thought looked really great, but then I realized it's extremely uncomfortable. So now I figured out what I wanted to do in there. So a few months ago, I ordered a lot of stuff from Ikea on the mainland. Then I sent that to Northern Norway and then I shipped it up with a boat here. So they, they don't ship here. We don't have like a Ikea store in town. It's, you know, it's a project to get it up here. 
but I want this room to be the cozy, perfect room to just watch TV or hang out and also for my exercise bike. <laughs> so we started putting everything together. You can never have too much storage space. So I thought we would kind of utilize this space a lot better and put as many cupboards as we can on this wall. And then we put the TV in there as well. And that is what it's gonna be. So let's head to day two of putting this room together. Here we have day two of chaos, but look, you might be like, that looks a bit weird, but it has to be weird because otherwise we had to like not use that one. And I feel like we can make this a cool thing up here and it just has to be a little bit weird. I kind of like it. We're not going to put uh, covers on these ones, doors, because I want them open so I can put stuff. So it's a little less closed off. But I think that's good. And also we couldn't have one of these over there because they are too wide. So that's also why we don't have it there. And you might be wondering why that one is not close to the wall. And that is because there is a socket in there. So there's a lot of things we had to work with here. And this is what we did with this. <laughs> but I think it's going to be great. It's a lot of extra, extra storage and it's space that we didn't use before. So that's good. And this one is gonna go and we're gonna have a completely different sofa here. That's a lot smaller. It's like a 140 and it's gonna go out like this, but it's, yeah, I'm gonna have to show you. I can't wait till it arrives. Look, so this is a different room. I also love that the TV is on this wall before it was here when you walked in and it just didn't have a nice feel to it. Now it feels a lot smarter. We just picked this up from the uh, harbor. So here are all the things are for the extra room. Look, that's a really nice color. Okay, so we need to take all of this down now to the house and we don't know how much it weighs. But Castaneda. It's just in plastic, you can take that. Beautiful. So now we carry. We have gotten all the things down. It was very easy. It's perfect when they pack them in plastic. That means that we can just pull them on the snow. Hey, Green, do you want some help? There you go. <laughs> you look beautiful. Do you want me to take this off? Yes. This is what he wears when we were out. He's been running a little bit, so he got some extra exercise, which we love. So you are happy. Oy. There you go. You ran five kilometers. You're such an athlete. <coughs> you are an athlete. Yeah, take your little crocodile, have some food. You can get a treat later. All right, so first step is probably to remove something. Okay, 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 okay. This is the mirror, which is about three times bigger than I thought it was, which is it's becoming a theme. But I feel like I'm gonna put this one here just to try to make the room bigger because this is a very small room. But it's gonna be more kind of like gym with my bicycle and TV room. So I have an idea. We're gonna see what, what happens. Oh 
I am so happy with how this turned out. I'm like, I can't even believe that it worked out this well. It just feels so big and so airy. And this huge mirror, which I thought was a little bit too big before, just kind of opens up the room. And it's just so nice. You can see my print on the wall there, grim. This sofa is from Caught Up Design and I'm gonna link it in the description box so you can go and get one or check it out if you want to. This is also from Caught Up Design. I love this little stool table. It's perfect when, I'm gonna show you what you can do with this one because this one will go in there. This is, you see, it's not just a sofa. It is also like a day bed so you can chill and watch TV laying down. And then it's also a bed. So this becomes a queen size bed when you like fold it out. So I will show you right now how to do that because it's, it's really cool. But just look. Wow. I am so happy with how this turned out. Come here, Nana. In the morning, Anna. Look, it's a bed. Okay, test it. Oh, this is nice. Okay, and let's make it into a TV sofa. Okay, up, 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 up. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so comfortable. This is just... So good and so cozy. Is it cozy? Very cozy. I think Very we're nice. gonna have it like this all the time, aren't we? Yeah, it's probably. And I promise you that I am now officially done with this room. I have nothing I want to do to any room. I am done. At least for the coming two to three years. Weeks. <laughs> no. This room was difficult though. Like I was never really happy with it. Well, in the beginning, it was just, what we got then was just to not like, well, I didn't know what I wanted to do with it, so I didn't really do anything with it. I just bought something so we could sit in there and watch TV. And then I simmered and I wondered, okay, what am I gonna do in here? And then it just hit me a couple of months ago that this is what I wanna do. So what's your 